Hey guys, what's going on? It's Uncle Tone. How you guys doing? Welcome to Bonus Clip Thursday. What's going on? It's not Thursday. It's Tuesday. But this just arrived today, so I figured we would do a quick unboxing of my new Alienware 15 laptop you guys said you wanted to see one so i figured we'd go ahead and do one so without further ado let's switch this camera around and get into this sucker all right cool beans we have the sog trident unboxing knife all ready to go let's go ahead and slice into this really carefully and check it out cool beans um, i'm gonna be super careful opening this so i may end up speeding this up slightly I'm not entirely sure, but I'll tell you the specs of it as I'm cutting the box open. I want to be super careful. I don't want to do anything to it because this is a rather expensive computer. Uh, what we have here is the top of the line, fully specced out, new 2015 Alienware 15. Cool beans. Um, I specced it out as much as I could except for the 4K display. I did not get that. I got the 1920 by 1080 display uh, with the anti-glare coating. I like that better than the 4K. For one, I didn't figure I'd be gaming in 4K. I figured um, that I'd just be gaming in 1080 with all the settings on high or ultra, which this should be capable of. And uh, there you go. So I got the quad-core i7 um, 4710 processor. Um, 16 gigs of RAM. I put all the specs in the description box if you want to check it out. Uh, the 256 gig SSD with a one terabyte 7200 RPM hard drive and the GTX 980 graphics card with four gigs of DDR5. So it's all specced out except for the 4K display. I did not get that. Cool beans. Let's just check the camera angle here. Make sure we're cool there. Maybe we'll zoom in just a little bit. Get a little zoom action going on here. Cool beans. And then we'll go ahead and open it up. There's no more tape on it. Ba -ba! There it is. Cool beans. It's more of a grayish finish than it is silver. I thought it looked kind of silver in other unboxing videos that I saw. More of a grayish finish. So we'll set this to the side. We'll check out what else is in the box and then we'll come back to that. Cool beans. Also in the box, we get a couple of uh, pamphlets here. We got uh, Alienware pamphlet. This is the uh, Welcome to Alienware kind of a thing. Cool beans, Alienware Arena, all that kind of stuff. Cool beans. And then we also get this, which is probably a quick start guide, warranty information, all that kind of stuff. See, quick start guide. You'd think I'd done this before or something. Quick start guide, warranty, safety, and regulatory information. See, there you go. I told you. Nobody ever reads this stuff anyway, but, you know, you'd think I'd done this before, knowing what all's in the box before I even opened the box. Cool beans. That goes in there. What else we got in here? We got a little flap right here. Uh, we flip the flap open, and here we have our AC power adapter. Um, with your power supply, this is the 180-watt power supply. Um, this plugs into the computer. This end has your figure of eight thing there. Not a, really a figure of eight, it's the three-pronged thingy. That plugs into here, this plugs into the wall. Cool beans, and that is all that is in the box. So, there you go. Kind of a cool looking box though. Got the Alienware thing there, all that kind of stuff. We'll close the box back up again. And we'll move over to the laptop itself. Cool beans. Here we have the Alienware. I'm going to zoom back out again because I'm a little too zoomed in here right now. Zoom back out again a little bit. There you go. You have the full effect of the Alienware 15. Uh, apparently this is not aluminum. It looks like aluminum. Um, it's a carbon fiber uh, and plastic mix apparently. It feels very solid. Um, it is a very hefty and thick laptop. Um, this is certainly not tiny or light by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, but given how powerful this thing is, um, 
you, there are desktop computers out there that are not as powerful as this laptop is. Um, so given how powerful this is, um, I don't think it's too overly thick. Um, I'd say it's three quarters of an inch, maybe an inch thick. Yeah, probably about an inch thick. So there you go. Uh, let's take a look at all the ports and control, so on and so forth. Here we have an SD card slot, uh, two USB 3s, and an Ethernet jack. Cool beans. I was slightly out of frame there. My bad. Moving around here to the back, you have two very large air vents here on the back on each side for the exhaust, for the hot air to come out of the laptop. This is the adapter for the graphics amplifier. Then we have a mini display port, that's what I'll be using to plug into my external monitor, as well as an HDMI port. Cool beans. Moving around to the other side, you have your power slot, a lock slot, two more USB 3s, as well as a microphone in and a headphone out port. Cool beans. And there you go. Here on the front, you have your two front firing speakers. And then here on the bottom, this panel removes so you can access the hard drives and the RAM, uh, stuff like that. And you have some large vents here on the bottom for the air intake to bring air into the system so that it can blow it at the back to keep it cool. Um, apparently, this has copper piping in it and everything. Uh, quite an elaborate um, cooling system inside this, uh, which should help it run fairly cool. Hopefully when we're running our games like Watch Dogs, Bioshock, and 1080p on Ultra. Cool beans. Let's go ahead and open it up and check out the inside. Preferably without dropping it. Cool beans. There we have the inside. Uh, the palm rest is a matte finish. Um, feels nice, actually. It feels really nice. I feel like it's going to be a fingerprint magnet. Um, but it is a nice matte finish. Feels very good. Um, and then we have the 1080p anti-glare display uh, with an Alienware logo there. There's a front-facing webcam there. I believe that's 2 megapixel. So there you go. Cool beans. Uh, let's move the camera, fire it up, and uh, show you what the lighting looks like, and then we'll end the video. All right, we got the camera moved around. Let's go ahead and hit the power button, which is this alien head right there. We'll go ahead and hit that. Fire it up, and ooh, look at all the lights. The alien is green, and the other lights are blue. Cool beans, the lights on the back do light up as well. There's a couple of strips on the back there, as well as the alien head here that also light up. All of this is fully customizable in the Alienware software. There are four, it's an RGB keyboard. There are four programmable zones in it for lighting. So there you go, cool beans. Um, you can fully customize all of your lighting here on the Alienware 15. I'm going to run through all the setup stuff here and we'll check all that out for our Windows and all that kind of stuff. This did come with Windows 8.1. I'm going to sign up for the free upgrade for Windows 10 too right away so that you know I can get Windows 10 on it. Cool beans. Thanks for watching. Um, I will have a full review up and some gameplay videos and stuff up like I did for the MSI. Um, I'll do the same thing for this one. Uh, give me a week or two with it. Let me play around with it, see what I think, gather my thoughts, kind of a thing. And I'll have one of those videos up for you. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, I'm going to go enjoy my new laptop. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Rock on.